Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to live stream to Instagram directly from your computer with a proper camera, with a proper sound, and uh, adding more elements in your live streaming. So without wasting time, let's get started. So there is a lot of softwares that you can use to live stream directly to Instagram via your computer. But the one software that works pretty very well is OBS because it has got an a plugin that just got introduced recently uh, that can enable you to send a vertical feed on Instagram because um, the traditional way of live streaming to Instagram is holding your phone in your hand and going live like that, which there isn't really any problem about that. The only thing is sometimes the camera is in your hand and it's shaking. If you are doing professional work, that might look like you are not that professional and uh, and the other thing is sound you know you are using sound that is coming directly through your phone uh, which in most cases is not good but it works if you are just really uh, going and professional way but if you really want to take things to the next level uh, maybe you are a pastor or maybe you are a corporate or maybe you are a small business you want to present yourself professionally you are talking and you can add people coming to your live stream via your computer you know professionally not the traditional way then this video is for you so where do we start from we start from getting the software that I just mentioned, uh, OBS Studio. So if I go to my computer here, just go to OBS, uh, just type OBS Studio and go to their website and um, it will bring you to this window. All right. So if you just type um, OBS Studio and just go to their website, it will bring you to this window and from this window you can choose which operating system are you using all right so if you are on linux computer you can select linux if you are on mac os or on windows you can select all these types of soft uh, operating system so i'm using windows so i'm just gonna go ahead and click that uh, windows here and my software will download uh, once it's downloaded i'll just go to my downloaded folder and I'll see OBS Studio 30.1. All right, so you have to make sure you are using the latest version of uh, OBS. So at the time I'm recording this video, uh, the version is 30.1. All right, so after downloading, make sure you install it in your computer. Installation is very easy, just click uh, next, 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 and you'll be able to install it. If you're watching this video in my course already, you know how to install it. All right, after it has been installed, uh, before you actually really open it, you need to download a plugin that can help us to send a vertical video to uh, Instagram. Because on Instagram, you can't really go live like the way uh, in landscape, like the way it is looking right now. So you have to go live in vertical. So because that's a traditional way of, you know, most people who's going to be watching your broadcast, they'll be watching it on their phone vertically. So we need to download a plugin that got uh, released recently, which helps us to send a, a, a vertical feed to Instagram. So uh, to download that plugin, just come to this website. Uh, it is called AI Tomb or A Tomb. Uh, just go there, A Tomb or search. All these links will be in the description below. Just search A Tomb uh, and it will bring you to this page and just go down until you can see Atom vertical plugin uh, for OBS Studio 29 plus. So that's why I'm saying you should use the latest uh, version because this plugin can only support OBS from 29, from version 29. So we have version 30, which means we are good. So just go ahead and click download and it will download to your folder as vertical canvas Windows installation. So just click on it to install and then next 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 and it will be installed all right so after all the programs have been installed just open obs on your computer and then it will come like this so if you are used to obs uh, you see that the interface will look slightly different that is because of the plugin that we installed it automatically uh, you don't have to do anything it automatically comes into OBS. So now not only do we have scenes and sources for OBS, we now have vertical scenes and uh, vertical sources. And then we have also a vertical monitor there. 
So to get started, to, to, to set it all up, you have to go to your browser again. I'm going to go to Chrome and make sure you are logged in to your Instagram account. And uh, after you have logged in, then you come to where it says create and then live video. All right. Um, here you need to add your live video details. So I'm going to write this one. The, the name of my stream is, uh, let me say testing. And then the audience, I want it to go to public. And then I'm going to click next. All right, this next page here is very important because that's where we have our stream URL and uh, our stream key. So once you reach this page, go back to OBS again. And then in OBS, we need to add our sources. All right, so I'm going to add my sources here. I just click the plus button here and then go to video capture device. And then I'm going to say the device that I'm using is Atem Mini. That's a device that I'm using. And then here I have to look for that device, uh, which is here Black Magic Design. And uh, my feed is going to come automatically. And uh, I'm not really going to do a lot here. I'm just going to click OK. And then I'm even going to put it in my output window. So if you know how to use OBS, I'm sure you already know uh, how to add a video capture device. Make sure your camera is connected to your capture device and your capture device is connected to your computer before you open your capture device. All right. And then after that is done, I'm going to come to here as well to the vertical source as well. I'm going to just click that plus button and um, come to... Um, video capture device i'm gonna use that atel menu which i just uh, wrote there and then you see on the other side of obs on the vertical side you see our video feed is um in our output here as well but as you can see our video is in a landscape so we just need to reframe it so that we can have that instagram uh, format All right so i'm just gonna reframe myself and uh yeah yeah, I think somewhere here. So this is our Instagram format, right? So in order for us to actually set it up to connect now from OBS to Instagram, um, we're going to use this vertical window and uh, we're going to come to this settings button here. That's where everything is. This button is very important. So click on that settings button and you see uh, general settings window here will open. I don't know what happened there. You'll see general settings window here will open. Then just come to streaming. And then on the streaming here, I can insert the name of the stream that I want. So here I'm just going to write it testing. And then on the server, we have to input our details from Instagram itself. So I'm going to click, uh, I'm going to copy the URL, just click copy. And then I'm coming back to OBS and uh, paste that URL here. Okay, I'm just going to control V to paste. And then I'm going to go back again to copy the streaming key. Just click on copy and then go back to OBS. Uh, delete this streaming key. Make sure everything is deleted and control V to paste. And then uh, before you leave this window, one the most important part uh, is uh, also this video bitrate here. This is very important. So whenever you are live streaming, like I've been teaching in the in the course, uh, you have you need internet, of course, and uh, you need to know the upload speed of your internet and the download speed. So before you set this uh, video bitrate here, you need to check the speed of your internet. So I'm gonna go to my browser again and i'm gonna open a new window and type internet speed test and then i'll run a speed test to see the speed of my internet this is very important whenever you are doing live streaming so i can see my it is testing the download speed uh, which is 15 and then now it is testing the upload speed 
Let's wait for it. All right, the upload speed is 12 megabits per second. And this is the one which is important because remember we are uploading our video. All right, so anytime you are doing live streaming and you can see that your upload speed is 12.1 megabits per second. In live streaming, you have to use what we call a 50% headroom rule. What that means is the video that you are uploading, it has to be half of the upload speed. So if the upload speed here is 12 megabits per second, then you have to upload your video at 6 megabits per second in order to have that 50% headroom room. Just in case something happens to your internet, then your stream shouldn't be affected in terms of uploading because the moment your internet becomes, um, the upload speed becomes small, uh, becomes low, the video will struggle to upload and you start seeing uh, this jittery movement in your video. So make sure you check your internet speed and use that 50% headroom rule. So knowing our upload speed here is 12.1 megabits per second, we are going back to, um, to OBS. And on video and on video bitrate, we can now use six megabits per second. All right. So now it is in kilobytes. So this is six thousand kilobytes, which is like six megabits per second. So in order for us to be very safe, I'm just gonna reduce this one maybe to four thousand kilobytes, which is like um, uh, four megabits per second. So at least I have a lot of headroom rule. In case my internet drops, my stream will not be affected. Or in case I want to add other stuff from the internet, I'm busy downloading and uploading stuff on the internet whilst I'm live, my live stream shouldn't be affected. So this is very important. And then when you come down here, I'm sure everything here is fine. And when you are ready to go live, you can just click OK. And then we have uh, the live button here. This is the one that you press if you want to go live. And then uh, this is the one that you press if you want to record your live streaming. So as you are live, you can also be recording your live stream. All right, which is very important. And then the other thing that I want to show you here is um, I can come here and uh, add some other elements. Let's say an image. I'm going to browse for an image. Um, See maybe here, uh, let's say, uh, let, me, let me get Pedro. All right, now you can see I have my image coming in in my stream here. So I can also resize it a little bit. Okay, so if I'm live streaming something that has to do with cameras, I can also set up all the other elements that I want my viewers to see whilst I'm live. All right, so I'm just gonna switch it off for now. And then if everything is set, your scenes, your sources are all selected, you just come here and press go live. The button will change to deep blue, then green. Once it's green like this, it means our video signal has been sent to our Instagram. So if we go back to our Instagram page, we should now be able to see the feed. This is the feed that is coming in. So, and if everything is okay and you are ready to go live, you can just click go live. All right, here we are. I'm live now on Instagram. I'm just waiting for people to uh, start joining my live stream. <laughs> I'm waiting for people to start joining my live stream, but otherwise this is how you go live on Instagram via your computer using OBS.